Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, what would happen if a monomial gets multiplied with a polynomial? Because till now, the matter was quite simple because two monomials, both are simple, very easily we could find their product. But when you have situations like this, where you have a binomial to be multiplied with a trinomial or a binomial with a binomial or a monomial with a trinomial. So in that case, how does it happen? I mean, does everything remain same or there are some changes? Let's see. So in this case, we make use of the distributive law of multiplication over addition. So I hope you remember the distributive law. It says that A multiplied by B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C because A gets multiplied to both B and C separately and then the product gets added. So this is the distributive law. Now you see that how beautifully we will make use of this distributive law whenever we have to multiply a monomial with a polynomial. So let's start with monomial and binomial. So let us suppose that you have a monomial 2x and you have a binomial 3x plus 5xy and you have to find out the product of this monomial and this binomial. So basically you have to find out 2x multiplied by 3x plus 5xy. So what will you do? So we will make use of the distributive law. So we know that as per the distributive law a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. So in this case 2x is just like a, 3x is just like b and 5xy is just like c. So therefore we can write it as a into b that is 2x into 3x plus a into c that is 2x into 5xy. So 2x into 3x, these are two monomials. This is just like uh, finding out product of two monomials. First you multiply the coefficients, so 2 into 3 is 6. Then you multiply the algebraic factor, so x into x is x square. Similarly, here also it is like multiplying two monomials. So first coefficients, 2 into 5 is 10. And then the algebraic factor, so x into x is x square into y is x square y. So 6x square plus 10x square y would be the product. So it's pretty simple, right? It is just that you apply the distributive law. Once you have applied the distributive law, you will end up multiplying monomials with monomials. Okay, so let's try out monomial multiplied with a trinomial. So let's take an example. Suppose you are given a monomial 3p and you have a trinomial 4p square plus 5p plus 7 and you have to find their product. So you basically need to multiply 3p to 4p square plus 5p plus 7. So here again make use of the distributive law but the only difference here is normally the distributive law says a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. But here instead of b plus c you also have one more term that is d. So it becomes a into b plus a into c plus a into d. So that is the only difference. So in this case this, this 3p is like a. 4p is like b, 5p is like c and 7 is like d. So this becomes 3p into 4p square plus 3p into 5p plus 3p into 7. So here 3p into 4p square. So 3 into 4 is 12. p into p square is p cube. Similarly here 3 into 5 is 15. p into p is p square. Similarly here 7 into 3 is 21 and p will be p. So 12p cube plus 15p square plus 21p would be the product. So this is the first example. Let's take one more example. Let's suppose that you have a trinomial a plus b plus c and you have to multiply it with abc which is a monomial. Now you might feel that okay the formula or the distributive law says a into b plus c plus d is equal to this. But in this case we do not have it in the form of a into b plus c plus d. We have it in the reverse form that is b plus c plus d multiplied by a. So what should we do? Now if you remember the commutative law, what does the commutative law says? 
So the commutative law states that a plus b is equal to b plus a. Right. Similarly, the commutative law of multiplication states that a into b is equal to b into a. So we have learned all of these, right? So using this, we can say that a plus b plus c, if we consider this entire thing as a and this entire thing as b, then we can say that a into b is equal to b into a. So now we can very well apply the distributive law that is consider this as a this as b, this as c and this as d. So this becomes a b c into a plus a b c into b plus a b c into c. So this becomes a square b c plus a b c b square c plus a b c square. So this is the product. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.